Yeah, thank you so much for your talk and sharing your journey. This is uh, quite quite inspiring. No matter where you are in your career or where you are in your um, life cycle of your know, professional development, so it's really cool. And you mentioned something about the idea of a speed mentoring. Right. And uh, this is way cool. And I would really like to know more about it and maybe, yeah, mm -hmm. see how we can pimp the idea and, you know, try it here in Hamburg, in Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> so can yeah. you um, give us a, a, some advice on how you acquired your mentors? Yeah. So the entire concept was um, we looked at, like, let's say, seven to eight different fields. So the way the whole agenda and the way we looked out for mentors were one is we looked into like women in research, uh, women in the industry, um, students, let's say female students who have done very well in their, let's say, undergrad or in high school. So it was it was probably like, you know, one, probably a female entrepreneur was one of the mentors. Uh, one was, uh, let's say, a person who has gone out and given international talks, so is all aware of, you know, how to write a winning author proposal, how to submit that successful grant application. So, so we basically kind of picked up uh, one field. Um, so let's say we had around seven to eight mentors. And so the Indian community has a lot of tech people, right? A lot of women who are good, uh, who are out there. Who, I, it's, it's picked up quite a bit. So we, we kind of reached out to various other women in tech communities uh, whom we know personally. And we kind of also had like a small CFP where we asked people for recommendation if they know anybody in contact so that, you know, we wanted somebody who can actually give advice based on their life experience, based on what they've done. So it's, it's, uh, so yeah, we kind of had that and then send them a mail. So we even had the keynote speakers, right? Uh, Ines Montani and the other keynote speaker was ASL Lady. So they were our female keynotes and we brought them also as one of the mentors. So I think that kind of also helped in bringing a lot more attendees to be a part of this whole session. Um, so yeah, so pretty much that's how we brought together like seven to eight people. So the way it works is like attendees come and they kind of keep hopping, like how they you know, hop <laughs> from one booth to another. Yeah. So they just yeah. So that's that's how it, it went. Wow, way cool. It would be interesting to see how that could happen digitally, huh? <laughs> that's that's a very good thing. So we we kind of thought of doing that. So the diversity and inclusion track, which you saw right, and the last part of my talk. It was kind of inspired from speed mentoring because we went online last year. Um, so we couldn't actually do that um, hopping from one session to another. So we ended up actually introducing an entire track. So mm -hmm. all good. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you so much for your feedback. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. OK. We do have There's one question, question also from Paloma. OK. So it says, she would like I to know. Point. Yeah, she would like to know more about the speed dating. Did participants had to prepare something in advance? How were the reactions? Yeah. So uh, the participants really didn't have to, you know, prepare anything in advance. So it was more like uh, we kind of actually publicized it only during the conference, so that something like this is happening uh, because we were still on the verge of you know finalizing the mentors and all of that. So the participants just got to know, okay, these are the kind of people and their background and what, you know, they can help you with. So anybody who's interested in kind of getting into open source went and spoke to an open source mentor who was right there, right? So somebody who has experience contributing to open source. So, and the mentors I think were pretty awesome. So I don't think they required any preparation. So the feedback was pretty good because uh, it wasn't just for the female attendees, uh, it was for everybody. So it, it was it was really nice because it was the first time that something like this has been introduced. So it was kind of uh, well appreciated. And, you know, they, we, we hope to have it the next year. But yeah, we moved to an online format after that. I hope that answers the question. Thank you. We will have a later uh, panel where Niharika is also there. So. Um, Stay tuned for later. There's more surprises that are not in the schedule. Um, and now, <laughs> yeah, thank you for your talk again. And uh, thank you, Avare. Also